Tisha outside force G up inside, and when you go inside, you're going to have to come head to head with George Tischler, and he's going to win most of those battles. You know, George Tischler was playing an outstanding football game. Haven't heard too much from Eric Ringone, number 56. Ringone sat out last week's game with a sprained ankle, missed the Cortland game. So uh, Tischler making up for whatever lack of mobility Ringone might have on the field right now. Yeah, and, and Tischler, like you said, he's just an outstanding ball player. And we're going to get a delay of game penalty, it looks like, against Trenton State. And Joe Gardy's got to be thinking here, you know, shut him down. Let's get the ball back because our high-powered high offense, we get the ball on the uh, Trenton State side of midfield. We're going to put some points on the board. Hofstra still has all three of their timeouts. So they will probably try and utilize that now with 142 on the clock. They can get the football back. It's a second and 18 for Trenton State. You know, and this is a situation where Eric Hamilton, what do you do? Do you throw and stop the clock and leave, you know, Hofstra with their timeouts, or do you just try to get a big play through running the ball? We'll find out. 135. Mortal Leak cutting to the near side, being chased by Scully and knocked out by George Tischler once again. You know, and Tischler, like we said, he's the shadow for uh, Mortal today, and, and they give up the yardage, but importantly for Hofstra, the clock is stopped because Mortal Leet runs out of bounds and it sets up a third down at about 11, so jo Joe Gardy's smiling at the results of that play. Run out of bounds by Tischler. Play coming in from the sidelines. Billy Donahue is the mailman on this one. Going out, 46, Larry Brady. Split out to the far side is Donahue. Slot back, 38, John Millard. 129 on the clock. Hofstra leading it by six, nine to three. Deacon's looking to come in there for Hofstra. More to leap to throw, and his receiver fell down, and it's picked off by Bill, Bill Caucus. Chris Vilkoskis picked it off. Second one in the football game. Intended receiver fell down. Vilkoskis right there to pick it up off the turf. Yeah, it looked like, looked like Donahue just going down, slips on the wet turf. Here it is, mortally rolling out. Throws a nice pass, gets it in there low. Donahue slips and falls down, and Vilkoskis gets his hands underneath it, and it's a good one. Oh, uh, might have hit the turf, but uh, nevertheless, Number 11, Vilkoskis with the interception. 121 on the clock. Take another look. Was it a good catch? We'll find out. Here's the throw, you know. It's in there. The wind is affecting it. And Donahue, the field's a little wet. Ooh. Yeah, I don't, it's hard to tell. And the official, you know, that made the call was actually behind Vilkoskis on that play. So he didn't have a real good look at it. <laughs> I'm surprised that a guy from the inside... Uh, you know, didn't make the call and override that deep official. Rory Moss will come back and talk to his troops. Ball resting at the 35-yard line of Trenton State. First and 10 with 121 left on the clock in this first half. The Flying Dutchman of Hofstra leading it 9-3. to Came in with a record of 11-0. Trenton State come in with a record of 10-1. Eric Hamilton... 90 wins in 14 years on the sidelines. Yeah, you know, and he knows that turnovers will kill you, but turnovers in your own end will really get coaches gray hair and, and end seasons very quickly. And so far today, Hofstra gets a fumble deep in Trenton territory, puts a touchdown on the board, and here they get an interception deep in Trenton territory, and they have an opportunity to put some more points on the board. 88 Cuco down low to the near side. Coca's the yellow number 80, split out top of the screen. The give is to Cox, gets about three or four, stopped by number 66, Ron Barrett of Trenton State. You know, I think uh, Joe Gardy expecting, uh, or Trenton expecting um, Hofstra to come out throwing the ball. Joe Gardy elects to go with something up the middle, thinking he's going to surprise and break a big one. But this Trenton defense, so quick and so disciplined, sticks in there and makes the play. Inside a minute at 53 seconds, Millington in motion, 49 for Hofstra, movement again, and we will wait to check out the flag. Ball popped loose, and 66, Leif Shea was looking like he was going to go cut the far sideline and run for a touchdown, but the ball was whistled down. Again, I think it's Trenton State is jumping offside, and Rory uh, Moss using that snap count to his advantage. And that's what we're going to get, and they're going to pick up a cheap five yards, and uh, 
Also avoid the fumbled snap from center. Pick up five yards. The clock doesn't move. So everything working in Hofstra's way right now in the final 48 seconds of this first half. Mistakes and lack of offense have really hurt Trenton State in this first half. Not to say that Hofstra has played the picture-perfect game. No, these, they've turned it over as well. These defenses have really played uh, phenomenally, and this Trenton State defense has played great so far, but they've been on the field quite a bit in this second quarter. They've got to start feeling tired, and if you give this uh, run-and-shoot offense opportunities, they're going to score. Second down and two from the 27-yard line. Rory Moss back to throw. Over the middle, the catch is made by number 88, Frank Cuco at the 10-yard line. And that was just a perfect pass by uh, Moss. He put it in there. Put it in there. It's just a quick post. It's one-on-one -on -one with Linder. And Linder really had him covered. You can't cover him any better than that. But the ball is right where nobody can get it but, but Cuco. And he makes the catch. And Joe Gardy and uh, Hofstra offense is going to call timeout and talk about it because here they are in the 10-yard line. Gain of 17 yards on the reception by Cuco. Wayne Morris checking in number two. Ray Farber right 22 to the sideline. First and 10 from the 10. 40 seconds to play in this first half. Hofstra by six at nine to three. You know, and there's plenty of time on the clock here. Hofstra with a couple of timeouts, 40 seconds on the clock. They let one opportunity get away a couple minutes ago, and Joe Gardy doesn't want to let this one slip through the cracks. Referring back to the Brian McGee fumble on the two-yard line about a minute and a half ago. So Rory Moss trying to generate a little bit of offense here before the troops go off for the half. This is a high-powered offense that really hasn't gotten it going. They average it coming in about 47 points a game, number one offense in the nation, but have only nine points on the board so far. You know, they've had a lot of success with Cox in the flat uh, to the right-hand side. I wouldn't be surprised to see him come with a similar play right here. First and 10, Morris and Cuco split out to the near side. Moss looking, now over the middle, does he have it? No good, it's a trap by Cuco. Incompleted pass. Yeah, a little short hop there, and I think they were trying to get Ma uh, Cox out into the flag, but Trenton State blitzed, forced Cox to pick up the uh, blitzing linebacker. Moss had to come off his primary man and go to Cuco, coming across the middle, and he just threw it in there low, and Cuco, Cuco like a good shortstop, <laughs> made the Scoop play, it up, yeah. but it doesn't count today. There's no throw across the diamond for the out, so it's a second and 10 from the 10, 35 seconds to play first half. Joey Driver, and he's stuffed at the line. Might have lost a yard or two. Greg Bellotti, number 23, coming up and making the big play. Timeout by Hofstra. Boy, it looked like that Trenton State team was in the huddle with the Hofstra offense on that play because they had the whole host of tacklers there in the middle to wait for Driver as he tried to hit it up inside. One timeout remaining for the Flying Dutchman of Hofstra which is four of nine on third down conversions. You have another Rory, one here. It is third and 12 the with the ball goal. on the 12. That's right. All right, get the field goal. Joe team Gordy alert. telling field his troops team. that get there ready. is the one timeout left. They can stop the clock and Six. let Bullard attempt before they go off. So he must be coming with something to the inside here, knowing that he's going to be a pass and a run into the end zone. If they get stopped, he wants uh, Moss to call timeout and uh, set up the field goal attempt. Third down and 12, the ball on the 12, 30 seconds to play. First half. Between all the turnovers and all the flags, penalties, it's been a very, very long first half of action. Rory Moss, the quarterback. Kavanaugh in motion to the near side. Pass to throw. Over the middle. Cocos Yellow. Touchdown. Great catch by Chris Cocos Yellow. Now they are celebrating. That's a, that's a big load off their shoulders right there. They had a couple opportunities. They let get away. And here, Cocos Yellow, man to man on the outside on uh, Malloy and he just beats him to the post and Moss puts it in here and Cocos Yellow went up to make a fine catch and score the touchdown. I had mentioned a few moments ago that you can't keep Cocos Yellow down throughout a football game. He has come up big. He's made two great receptions including that one for the touchdown. 
Rory Moss with a drill of a pass, and Coca Ziella with just a great catch going upstairs and coming down with it. He sure did. Now uh, Hofstra's going to call timeout. Rory's going to go over because I think Hofstra, after that, after uh, missing that extra point, they're going to go for two. Let's take another look at Moss. He looks to the right. He knows that Coco Ziello's out there man-to-man, -man, and he throws it up there high, and Coco Ziello really, Rory, as you said, climbs sure the ladder. Great concentration and comes down with it right in the end zone. And Rory Moss stayed in that pocket, being pressured by 89, Joe Hogan, but able to hold on and find Coco Ziello. Hogan will come out of the right side. Here's another look. You know, a good job by that line on the inside, though. They gave Moss the opportunity to step up and make the throw. Even though the pressure was coming from the outside, he didn't have that pressure up in his face. Gave him the opportunity to step up in there and make a, make a good throw. And Coco Ziello made a nice catch. 15 to 3, the Flying Dutchman by 12 with 24 seconds left in this first half. Hofstra will go for two. Mark Cox set right behind Rory Moss, along with Joey Driver, number 38. This is for the two-point conversion. <coughs> Moss rolling right. Gonna tuck it, has some trouble, looking for some help, and a race down. Number 55, David Muller, with some great pursuit, would not let Rory Moss out of his grasp. You know, and that's a, that's a unique little look for this run-and-shoot offense. They have the ability to spread things out, really get a lot of great athletes on the field, and they have to go in there with a tight formation and roll... Uh, and roll Moss out to the right and really put the burden on him to run the ball in. And here he is, and Transnake shuts him down at the corner, forces him back to the inside where the pursuit can come, and uh, there he is, number 55, Dave Mueller, makes the play and shuts it down. So now it keeps the score 15-3, to three, and it really keeps it keeps Trenton State in this thing a little bit better, and Eric Hamilton's a happy man, even though he just gave up a touchdown. And Joe Gordy on the other side, I guess a little bit uh, disappointed, but I guess happy on the other side because he lost the football and the fumble by McGee moments ago. His defense held, and then all of a sudden, Rory Moss is able to find Coco Ziello. So they, they did avenge that fumble earlier, and they came back, and they marched it right back down the field. Coco Ziello, a 12-yard pass from Rory Moss. It was five plays, 35 yards, took just 50 sec 57 seconds, set up by Chris Vilkoskis, second interception of the football game. The deep men on the kickoff, number two, Kyle Anderson, number five, Billy G, Olshansky to kick. That is G at the seven-yard line and makes his way up to about the 28-yard line. Will be first and 10. Clock shows 17 seconds to play in this first half with Hofstra on top by the score of 15 to three. You know, I think Eric Hamilton's gonna be real happy to go into the locker room right here, down 15 to three, knowing that uh, he dodged one bullet so far in this first half when uh, McGee fumbled going in and He's still within striking range. Two touchdowns and a good staunch effort by his defense in the second half could put him right in front. See what Mortalit does. Steve Mortalit, the quarterback, number 18. And he's going to kneel, and he's going to run out the clock here in this first half of play. So Hofstra's going to walk it off with a 15-3 lead, outscoring Trenton State 12-0 here in the second quarter. The two touchdowns for the Flying Dutchman. So 15-3 in favor of Hofstra over Trenton State, Scott. Yeah, and it's, uh, I think Joe Gardy really has to feel happy. He's coming in here, he's playing against the number one scoring defense. They've had some problems. They really haven't played offensively the way he would like to play, but they, they're ahead and uh, things are looking up for Hofstra. Trenton, on the other hand, you know, they're in a position where they're a little bit disheveled, they're a little bit on the run. They're gonna have to go in at halftime, really regroup themselves and come out here in the second half and come up with some big plays. Well, we're gonna get a chance to talk with uh, Coach Eric Hamilton. And uh, Coach, are you down there? You can hear us, Coach? Yep. Coach, uh, your defense was on the field a long time and a lot of turnovers. Offense having some trouble moving the football. Uh, we're moving the ball. We're turning it over. We're not throwing the ball as well as we've liked. Uh, I mean, I think like the only stat now is turnovers. We set them up for the first score. One play, boom. Our defense is playing well, but we got to get them off the field. First quarter was five. Second quarter, we got ourselves in the hole. Eric, any quick adjustments that you can think of right now that you're going to make for the second half? 
Yeah, we're trying to put some points on the board. Uh, quickly, no. That's the way they're going to figure it out. That's when to recruit some big guys in half halftime. I don't know. They're a good football team. Very good football team. All right, Coach, thanks for coming on, and uh, good luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, that's Coach Eric Hamilton, who uh, gave us his thoughts on that first half of play. His team, Trenton State, goes off trailing by the score of 15 to 3. We're at halftime. We'll come back with some halftime activities following this timeout. So stay with us. December on Sports Channel. We deliver bundles of holiday cheering. The Devils and Islanders clash with the Capitals, Flyers, Penguins, and others for 22 exciting games. The Nets tip off against the NBA's Mets, Ewing's Knicks, Carl Malone and the Jazz, Dominic's Hawks, and much more. Sports Channel America's got Dynamite Gala Juice, Notre Dame, Seton Hall, and the Palm Beach Classic. Plus, the NHL's hottest teams battle for league supremacy. Sports Channel in December, a lot to get excited about. Hi, honey. I just checked in. How was the flight? Uh, bad food, good movie. I miss you. I miss you, too. I feel so alone when you're not here. Did you, uh, lock all the doors and turn on the ADT system? Yep. The last thing a burglar wants to see. ADT helps protect your home and family 24 hours a day, every day of the year, by linking your home to an ADT customer service center. Call 1-800-ADT-INFO. For a small monthly fee and one-time installation charge, our SafeWatch system can help protect your home against break-ins, fire, and medical emergencies. Help protect your home. Help protect your peace of mind. Call 1-800-ADT-INFO. I'll see you at home tomorrow night, then. I love you both. We love you, too. We'll be here. ADT, we're home even when you're not. ADT SafeWatch. Call this number now. Only $395 installation and $19.95 monthly monitoring fee. ADT. We're home even when you're not. Hofstra University's outstanding faculty includes those who have won the Pulitzer Prize and been named Guggenheim Fellows and Fulbright Scholars. At Hofstra, over 85% of the more than 400 full-time faculty members hold the highest degrees in their fields. Hofstra has faculty on the cutting edge of research, but a part of what we call Hofstra